Hallelujah. Good morning, church family. And good morning to those who are tuning in this morning. It's Sarah Mutakotun, Fabius Futasi. Salatu Pibese, the Ingo Fatayayo. Awani de Oyo, Awai Fatfa Lava Lona Lofa Yaisuayani. Ezra chapter 3, verse 11. With praise and thanksgiving, they sang to the Lord, and they said, He is good. His love towards Israel endures forever. So this morning, put yourself in that. His love towards our church, his love towards Vista and Oceanside endures forever. His love towards El Paso endures forever. Or us personally, his love towards Pastor Tina, Paul, Teresa, Bells endures forever. Amen.
Awai baia. Ebaia. Ebaia la ba oyo. Ma tu vanga na faftai le ni taya o ma faio na tu iti talai. Ma tu tu aolo man man pa. I will follow you to your alpha now and to your top. Ma tu te fafu ya tu le viiga ma le faftai. Ma tu vanga na faftai le tu aolo na la tu shia. Ele ma vai le a yo ma tu tala. Na ma ya so sa ma tu sa ma ya le tu top. Atonu sa yai fai na ta ma fita. Ai sa fai no fie me u ma ona la u fata si mai u ma. Anga ka fafta i la u fio le tu ata ma i la u ma. Ele ma fai le ona ma ma i u ma tu ata. Fafta i la u pa i la fata si mai le aso ma le aso. I la u pu folo folo ina. I la u pu pu la u ma ina. Ai le na te le fai tu ina la u ma. Mato te faftai o nolo walo pere na mani mungo le satou. Ono e mato le fana. O mato maleu o mato se se. I lalo le tofu e lau satou. Fa ba galo mai mato le nita. Le tu e tamawa e si la fia mana o nga la wetane si ya le nita. Wa e si la fia foi le tangata malona mana o. This year, we find the mobile and have no matter what the matter is, I don't know the name. And my share to a tele, but my mother will matter like a lot of people. They ask him, but now I'm going to be at all in the time. They do it to my tiny family, your matter, my mother. And matter to my own, I will feel it to it to my own. In love, family, I can turn you away, can I see? My own matter, my two are falling out, and no for all. Ilau fa unga ilunga ya tila, ya awali ma mai le ale tua tama. Ilau fa ilau fio le tua ilau fa malia ma tama ma tina ma tutu aro e kalishi. Ale ngate le ale lo lo ala wa ingaloto. Se o lau ma le ma tu fa na witi. Nisi fa yo mowa le ame tua ma tu te ma futa i le a sam le a sam le tua ilau fa malia na. Ya esa sa mai luna ya te mato o te nita ya. Ao le nita ya, ao le tu o mato atu i ato. O mahi ma fita e o mai o mato ti. E na ma yaso sa ye nisi ala we kane shia. Te tonu o ayo nga si nga si. A le esa tu atu i la o fi. Le o e tali mai fa ali ali ma. E la o fa malo lo ma yu o ato o ti. I matu tu atu le matu ai no otu le tu a le meta. Nisi wa fa ti el fa ma i le tu a tamu. Matu wala au le suafo yeso. O le suafo le fa ma. El ma yane pa i folo fa ma lo ma. Ilunga la we kare shia. Wa e si la fia o matu i noa le tu a tamu. Wa e si la fia fo i ma fti a ka o matu ti. Wa ya matu ti o ya i wa ya ti. Oil is from Malo. Oil is from Malo. From Malo. It is from Malo. Malo, Malo, Malo. Malo, tu a tu le awo na ya so honda le. Awo to to a yo iya ilungo ro na mo enga yo enta. O matu wala awo ilo wanga ko pa iya. O le anga na from Malo lo. Ye pa yan le lo from Malo lo na yo na ti do le enta. Le ale ma fa ti a le tu a le ya te iya. Ma foi la gona le tuwe te ma, ma to te tonu o oe le fo ma. E te fa ma lo lo le au au na le ne ita. Ma to tu a tu la u pulenga. I le e ka le shia ma le e ka le shia. O le au au na ma le au au na le tuwe te ma. La u fa ma li yata ya te ma. E nga te le le tu ma lo le ma to te ta i. Le suna ya funa ma le ti. Le tuwe te ma le ma u ma i la u fio le fa u na ma ya le. Ya mau ai la hua le tu a wa le te china le tu ma le mai si ma tu me ka le si a wa o Amerika le tu a ma fa manu ya o e a ti la hua le te china fa manu ya mai o e le ma tu ma te china le te china ma le tu a ma tu e ka le si a ya o kaso le tu a ma la au 
and they tell you, oh yeah, they have a known me, but that's it a bath and a nap, you're worried to put for a week and a two and a week. Okay, tell me, you look to me, hallelujah. Thank you.
Also, greeting to our um, El Paso family. Uh, this morning, they're having the church same time we're having because they're an hour ahead. Uh, I think, uh, right? Yeah. So we're like uh, doing it together. So God bless them that are there and also uh, the Spirit of the Lord be with them. Amen? Amen. Uh, we missed you guys. Uh, I heard last week you had a, a, a good crowd. Uh, Deacon said that they had to fill up some more uh, communion and pass it out because we had a, a, a big crowd. Amen. You know, and we love when we have a big crowd. Amen? Amen. Not because of the numbers, but because people are coming to church yeah. on that particular Sunday morning to worship the Lord. Amen? Amen. God is good? All the time. And all the time? God is great. Praise the Lord. Um, just, uh, you know what, let me get the announcement out of the way. Because, you know, sometimes things just slip my mind. And my, uh, my personal secretary is not here to remind me of things that slip my mind. Amen. Uh, so just our announcement real quick. In midweek, we're back on in, in person and online. Amen. Amen. So just this Sunday and this weekend, we kind of just wanted to uh, take care of the of folks with COVID. And I believe that the uh, the time is, I think, five days, right? Five days to yeah. be um, quarantined. You know, so this whole week, you know, we'll be done. So Wednesday, we're back here. A midweek, 6.30. Saturday, we're back with our prayer meeting online, if we can, and in person. Uh, that's uh, July 16th, and then this Saturday is our leadership planning meeting. Do not forget, leaders, it's mandatory that you show up, but if you can't make it, then pick one of your uh, um, staff to be here with your plan. Say amen. amen. If you don't show up, then you're going to um, buy all of us lunch. And we'll pick the place and the time. Amen. Okay. So 8.30, right after prayer meeting, all the leaders are uh, encouraged, are required and encouraged to show up along with our uh, church secretary and uh, all the pastoral staff and our treasurer, you know, for that meeting in case we have stuff that the church already put aside for a date that you pick. Then we won't use that thing for you. Amen? Uh, Sunday, we have a special speaker. We love our missionaries. And one of our missionaries back here, itinerating, you know, itinerating is when they come raise more funds to go back to the mission field. Yeah. So they're going to come and share their uh, testimony of where God is using them. And we already uh, talked with the missions. They're going to take care of the missionary, uh, his uh, accommodations. They've got that under control. Amen? Amen. How about a hand for our missions team? Amen. All right. Amen. And finally, the last Saturday of this month is our church business meeting. I'm giving you a heads up so that if you're a member, you know you're required to show up, right? Amen. Say amen. Amen. Because that's when we have our business meeting and we give you the business of what we're doing and, and you give your input and, and stuff like that. So please, everybody that's a member, you know, show up and we'll have a business meeting. 8 o'clock, 8.30, the board will meet. And then at 1 o'clock, the rest of our church will show up and, uh, and we'll see Kumbaya and carry on with our meeting. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You love Jesus? Amen. 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 I think that's all of our announcements. All right. Anything? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Next Sunday, Sunday school is back on. All right. So please, Sunday school. We love Sunday school, right? So come and we're in person. Uh, do you like that song? Come to Sunday school, bring someone with you, and also bring your offering too. Say amen. Amen. 
All right. Bring that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, that's a whole super money to talk. So, you let Nate, let Nate tie it out. But before we go there, just a, a report on our church in El Paso. We see people that are starting to come. Uh, the team has been an awesome job over there. Amen. There was uh, two families that came, and some of those families are Vito's nieces and nephew. So they came, and uh, we had a good time. And uh, there was a Balangi guy, and then one of the other, uh, was it Mao or Mao, what's it? Mao. Mao. And she's kin to somebody here in our church. You know, I think she's from uh, Manuba. So she was there. And we just had a good time. Yeah. And we're just seeing that God is starting to move in El Paso, mm -hmm. reaching people that wouldn't have been reached if we didn't have a church there. Uh, Brother AJ and uh, Jerry and Talil are doing an awesome job there. We continue to pray for them. You know, and pray that God will just start to bring people in because God's already uh, ordained people to come. Amen. Amen. And we just have to be patient. So continue to pray for them and uh, that God will just give them a, a heart for the ministry there. Yeah. And, um, you know, I'm praying that God will uh, lead one of these guys and say, Pastor, I think we've called to Pastor and... Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm not church plant no more, but I'm praying for that because, you know, we always want to see God use our people in the yeah. ministry. It doesn't matter where they go, but they came from our church and God is using them. Yeah. And, you know, for me as a pastor here, I love to see when people say, Lord, I mean, God, uh, I'm going to step out for you. You know, I'm going to step out and do this. <laughs> Because that's at the end of the day, and at the end of your life, that's what really matters. Amen. If you did God's assignment that he gave you. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 God is good. All the time. And all the time. All the Amen. I'm glad you said that because we're going to talk along the lines of that phrase right there. God is good. Say amen. amen. And my title, if I were to give a title to this sermon or this talk is, the purpose of God's goodness. Because many of us think that God is good because he's supposed to be good, which is true. But I'm here to remind you that there's a purpose why God is good. Say amen. amen. How many of you that God's been good to? Raise your hand from over there in uh, Facebook and all of us. Amen. God has been good. Yes. And we kind of use that as our catchphrase Sunday in and Sunday out. God is good, all and then the you guys would say, all the time. and then if he's a real woke preacher, he would say, and all the time, all the time. <laughs> oh, I ain't too woke this morning, <laughs> so I'm just kidding, right, so anyways, if you think about it, that's what comes to mind when we think about God, he's good, he's good, we write songs about him the goodness of God. And they sang that song one, two Sundays ago when I was here. The goodness of God. That song has been resonating in my spirit for like the whole month of uh, June and July. The goodness of God. And I was wondering why, why is this song just sticking to my mind? The goodness of God. The goodness of God. And today in this reading and study and say, there's a reason why God is good. Hallelujah. The reason is, the purpose is why God is good. I'll tell you up front because I might forget during the sermon. Right? Yeah. The reason why God is good, first of all, because God is love. Yeah. God is love. That's his nature. It's his goodness. Hallelujah. And his mercy and grace, we benefit from that because of God's goodness. Secondly, he loves us. And then secondly, we are to, supposed to respond to the goodness of God. Amen. See, God is good. But your response to the goodness of God come for whatever experience that you're going through that God shows up. Say that. 
And how many of us need God to show up in some experiences? That Lord, please show up. Please show up. And then, especially when we're sick, right? We're sick and we got to go to the hospital, as some of you were this week. And I said, Lord, why is all these folks going to the hospital? But right? <laughs> what did they do that they go to the hospital? But it's those instances that we always grab on to the goodness of God. Hallelujah. Because that's what we need. We need God to be good to us. We need God to heal us. Because when he heals us, that's a sign of God's goodness, right? Hallelujah. We need God to forgive us. Because when he forgives us, that's a sign of God's goodness. Say amen. amen. And we always say that. But there's a, somebody wrote a book. And the book was, Why Bad Things Happen to Good People. If God is good, why do bad things happen to good people? How many of us know some people that we think are good and bad things happen to? Say amen. amen. The questions is always we are challenged in our faith in God. Why did that happen to that person? But I want to remind you a better question is why does God need to be good? We are challenged, we are asked that question. Something happened to why did so and so die so young? God, why? They had so much going for them, they were good. They showed up to church every morning, early. They, they, they were good. But why did that happen? Obviously, if we dwell on that question, we become discouraged. Say that. Because maybe that's not the question to ask. Maybe the question is, why is God so good to me? And I'm not worthy of his goodness. And I think that's what the Lord was putting in my spirit when I kept thinking about this song. I just play this song when I go to sleep. I play it when I wake up. And then when the worship team sang it, I say, how do they know to sing that song, the goodness of God? Because God has been challenging my spirit. Saying, Pastor David, I've been good to you, haven't I? And I say, yes, Lord, you have. But do you know why I'm good to you? And sometimes we're lost in words. We say, because you love me. <laughs> of course God is good to you because he loves you. But you have to go deeper and think and toss and turn. Why is God good to me? And then I found the Psalms. Well, I didn't find it. I was always there. Psalm 67. And I'm going to read it for us in English. But it kind of says everything that we need to know about the goodness of God. Say amen. amen. And Psalm 67, it says, May your ways be known through all the earth. Your saving, your saving power among people everywhere. May the nation praise you, O oh God. Yes, may all the nation praise you. Let the whole world sing for joy because you have governed the nation with justice and guide the people of the whole world. And then there's a pause there for us to think about the things that were said. May the nation praise you, O oh God. Yes, may all the nation praise you. Then the earth will yield its harvest of, and God our God will richly bless us. Yes, God will bless us. And the people all over the world will fear him. See, amen? amen? Why is God good? Why is God good? It's a question for you and I. What is the purpose of the goodness of God? Well, first of all, here we see the Psalms. This Psalms here, the beginning of the Psalms, was a uh, response of Aaron and his sons in Numbers. 
verse chapter 6, verse 24. We hear this most Sundays. If you've been going to church for a while, the pastor would always say, Lord, let your light shine on them. Let your peace and your comfort follow them. You know the Psalms, right? So, so, so the writer of this Psalm quotes that at the beginning. Lord, be good to your people. Lord, shine your, let your face shine upon them. Smile upon them. Saying that? Yeah. Smile upon them. What does that mean when God smiles upon us? What does it mean when God called us his people? It means that God is taking ownership of you and I. But what does it really mean when we quote this? When we say that God is good to us? Well, here, it means that God has taken ownership of you. He stamped you with his name, right? Because you're his child. I'm his child. It's important for us to know why God is so good. It's not just that Sunday school song we used to sing a long time ago when Paul was young, right? God is so good to me. God is so good to me. He's so good to me. It's not just the song. And then it's best in my sight the Osu. Elele, we sing it, we still sing it today. Elele, Elele, how's that song go? Elele, 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 We sing that song. And we're blessed. We're blessed to be blessed. You and I live in the blessings of God. But the question is, why is God blessing us? Why is God blessing us? Well, you already know the first part. It's because he loves you. And he stamped his, his signature. My child, my child, right? And when it's your child, what do you do? Parents, we bless them, right? Even though they're bad kids, we bless them. Even though they don't listen, we bless them. Even though they bring D plus on their report card, we bless them. Because they're our children. When they don't listen, we still pray God's blessing upon them. Well, that's how God sees you and I. He blesses us in spite of who you are. Because that's his love for you and I. But secondly, there's a response of blessed people that needs to go out when God blesses you. Say amen. We are blessed so that we can respond to the blessings of God. See that? And I found this prayer, and this is what the preacher said. Actually, Dr. Wood, George Wood, how many of us remember George Wood? He said, do we bless God, or do we just receive his blessing without acknowledging God? And then uh, George writes this, is this you? Is this your prayer? None of you here. Maybe some of you on the internet. Just kidding, right? It says, or do you prefer to pray like this? Lord, it would be nice if you give me whatever I ask. Say amen. amen. Whatever. I don't like frustration or disappointment. Keep sorrow from my life. It would be wonderful, Lord, if an unknown rich distant relative how many of you have those oh come on you, you have one right Mr. Relative left me his entire fortune Lord can you arrange that for me Lord could you help everyone around me see see it my way I mean it'd be what uh, it's my way right 
Joyce says. Yeah, let him see it my way. And then he goes on to say, and could you rescue me from having to do anything I don't want to do? How many of us are in that? Lord, I don't want to do that. Can you rescue me? Can you make my wife do it? Can you make my husband do it? Better yet, Lord, can you make my children do it? Say amen, parents. Amen. And then he goes on to say, Lord, if you could, I would like to live the lifestyle of the rich and famous while being humble and godly. Could you imagine if we would live the lifestyle of the rich and famous? And at the same time, you're humble and godly. Could you be humble and godly if you were rich and famous? Yeah. I'm with you, Paul. Me and you. Rich and famous and godly and humble, right? And then he goes on, please give me roses without thorn. And I like the last part he's saying, and break both arms of anyone who tries to hurt me. Amen. I love that prayer. It's a prayer of somebody that doesn't appreciate what God is doing. It's a prayer of a heart that just wants to give me, give me, give me, and not respond to the goodness and the mercy of God. And that's what tells us about the Psalms. The psalm is right, Lord. Shine your face upon us. But don't let us forget to say thank you. Simply put, Lord, don't let me forget to say thank you. But oftentimes, we kind of like, we don't actually say these words of this prayer, right? But how many of us want our way all the time? Don't raise your hand up. How many of us want somebody else to do the things that we don't want to do? Keep your hands down, right? How many of us want to be blessed, but not be godly and humble? See, a lot of times, children of the Lord, the God most high, this great, big, wonderful God, we got this list of things. Lord, here's my list. I want that car. I want that house. I want her for my wife. I want him for my husband. And I want my children to be like their children, to be like so-and-so's children. Parents, I know all the time your, your children didn't turn out the way you want them. But you know what? There's still a blessing from the Lord. Say amen. There's still a blessing from the Lord. His children come from God. And if you've got many of them, the Bible says you're the blessed God. They're like arrows in the quiver of a, of a, a, a bow and arrow guy, a Robin Hood. You have many you're blessed. Even the black sheep that you have, you're blessed. I know none of us have black sheep, right? Right? They're all white sheep. <laughs> well, some brown ones, right? But they're all God's blessings. They're all uh, a, a blessing that requires us to say, thank you, Lord. Instead of asking why these bad things are happening to me, we should ask, Lord, why are you good to me? Lord, why didn't you heal me? Because here in this psalm it says, Lord, bless us so the nations of the world can see what a powerful God that you are. When God didn't heal my mom, I was so mad at God because she went too young. That's what we thought. She died young and adult. She was a pastor's wife and, 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 and people were praying for her, but the cancer came and took her away and we were like upset. I was upset. I came to that point, Lord, why, does, why didn't you heal her? She's good. She's a good pastor's wife. She has her flaws. She has her moment. But that's my mom. And you should have healed her, God. And for a long time, I held that against God. 
and turn away instead of turning towards God and try to find life fulfillment in everything but God. But you know what? It was God's love that turned a lot of our lives around when things did not happen the way we wanted. And God still spared us and used us just as he used me this morning. And, and just as that, that callings are not expired, they're just not yielded to. Say amen. amen. And when you come to the point where you realize how good God is, you're going to turn your life around and you're going to give your heart to God because he already stamped you from the beginning of time. Stamp. David's going to be a pastor. Stamp. Jerry's going to be a church planter. Stamp. Asia's going to go to Bible school and come and go plant a church. Stamp. Paul's going to be a leader of the worship team. And he's, he's been doing all these things. He's already stamped our lives with his goodness and his mercy. But now we're at a point where we respond to God. Lord, because you're good to me, I'm going to show the world how good you are. Say amen. amen. Because in the last verse of this psalm, it says, Yes, God will bless us, and the people of over the world will fear him. Say amen. amen. Your testimony, my testimony of how good God is will bring people to the Lord. Say amen. Why is God good to you? You have your answer. I shouted there in the name of the Lord, Mo'au, the man who put the CPC, the goodness of God is running after me. Say, man, the goodness of God is running after you. But my, oh, the Lord, to the Lord, or Mo'au, in the Amma, the name of the Lord, God's love is chasing you. But often we feel like God's wrath is chasing us. No, God's wrath is not chasing you. God's love, God's goodness is chasing you. And he wants to embrace and wrap himself around you. Why is God good? Because he loves us. Why is God good? Because he needs for you to share his goodness. Share how good he's been to you. Say amen. 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 He loves us. And he's chasing us down. To punish us? No, he's chasing us down to give you his love. See, amen. amen. To tell you that he's love. That you are love. Sometimes we think, well, I deserve God's goodness because see how good I am. The truth of the matter is none of us deserve the blessing and the goodness of God. Wait, I was trying to find out you don't deserve the goodness of God. And some more, and it says, Google said, You didn't earn it. Say amen. Where Mo Wine Panuia, where Mo Wine Salatonga, where Mo Wine Falotanga, where Mo Wine of Famalo Longa, where Mo Wine I said, God's love. God's love. Not your goodness that you receive God's love. Say amen. amen. And sometimes we, we think we're good. When we think we're good, we come up with questions such as, why is bad things happening to me? Happening to me. When you think you're too good, or when you think you're good, you start, oh, I deserve that. I deserve that, Lord. I'm serving you. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. Nobody else is doing it. Lord, I deserve to be happy. 
I deserve that. See, God is not, uh, we don't deserve anything. Say amen. We are not deserving of anything. What we get from the Lord is out of mercy and grace. Say amen. It ain't up to see what I told him. It's a tall way. It's a tall way. Now I turn back to the lake. There's nobody is worthy of God's love. Nobody is worthy of God's goodness. He gives it in spite of. Say amen. In spite of. Thank God that he still gives me his goodness and mercy. In spite of me. In spite of what I do. God don't bless pastors more than deacons. God don't bless our arms more than, than the regular church person. No, God blesses us because he loves us. Amen. Say amen. amen. None of us are deserving of the goodness of God. He gives it because he loves you. Say praise the Lord. Praise Our prayer is, Lord, thank you so much. Because if you didn't love me, I still wouldn't be here. I still wouldn't be here. And maybe some of you are going through some things. And we, we still experience illnesses. We still experience weaknesses. And if you're going through illnesses, sometimes you want to just say, Lord, why am I struggling? Why am I going through this? I've been praying. I've been praying. But it seems like it's not turning for me, God. Why? Why them and not me? I cannot answer you on your why question. But I can not answer you and tell you God loves you. And he gives us enough grace to make it through each day of our lives. He gives us enough grace to make it through that that you're facing. Whether it be illness, whether it be mental issues, whether it be someone that's causing you a headache, I mean, if you have some of those, yeah. had it calls yeah. 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 God gives us enough grace to help us <clears throat> extend the grace to them. Say amen. Yeah. To help us extend the grace to them. <laughs> See, you and I, we are it's the hands and feet of Jesus. We are the mouthpiece of God. We give mercy and grace. We give the good news. Why is God good to us? Because he wants you to let people know that I might be going through a rough time, but I want you to know God is still good. God is still good. I might not be completely healed, but I want you to know God is still good. I might still have diabetes, but I want you to know God is still good. I might be struggling with my health issue, but God is still good. Why? Because he's already stamped me on his. He is mine, and I am his. That's this loving God that we serve. Thank you, Jesus. Why is God good to you? Many of you have some powerful testimony of why God is good to you. Yeah. That far outweighs the terrible things that we face every day. Yeah. And some of you know people that maybe God didn't answer their prayer, but God was still good to them. Hallelujah. And some of us lost loved ones, especially these past few years, and we didn't never in our wildest dream think that they would go so cold. But I want to stand here and tell you the truth is God is still good. Amen. Say amen. amen. God is still good. The writer of that book, Why Does Bad Thing Happen to Good People? He was a rabbi. His son died. God didn't heal his son. He wrote that book out of anger because God should have healed his son. But God did it. Whatever God does, only God knows. Whatever God does for you, let's be thankful, Lord. Thank you. It wasn't until a point in my life where I came to go back to the Lord and say, Lord, thank you for my mom. 
Because all that time when the animosity hit towards God because he didn't heal my mom. That's all I was. Unforgiving, ungrateful, just a bunch of uns, right? But the moment where you come to the point and say, Lord, thank you for mom. For the, all the time we spent, thank you that you gave me a mother that loved me and prayed for me. And I know her prayer, because they prayed it when we were together. Lord, use our kids for your ministry. And God honored that prayer. God honored that prayer. We may not all been used at the same time, but God saw to it that her prayer is answered, her son becomes a pastor, her other son is a pastor, yeah. and her other wayward son came back to the Lord and are serving God. Yeah. Don't give up on the goodness of our Lord. Thank Don't. Yeah. I don't know how else to tell you. God is good. God is yeah. good. Yeah. All the time. All the time, God is good. He's going to see you through. He's going to see us through. Thank you. And then this kind of hit home when I came home and so many of our folks were sick, and I had to check myself and say, God is still with you. Say amen. amen. God is still with you. And I was so afraid that the, that the COVID might get the best of some of our church members, but God reminded us, me, as said, I got them. I got them. And then I come, and um, Sister Safa is in the hospital, and I said, oh, my Lord. just afraid that maybe things would turn for her. Then I come to Sister Teresa's in the hospital. And you know, when they said heart issues, that really worries the Lord. Yeah. And then Brother Paul tried to hurt himself by falling down the stairs <laughs> so he could stay in the hospital with Teresa and say, oh God, help Paul. Oh, Lord. And then Sister Swap was in the hospital and her heart issues are there. Where's your goodness? Where's your mercy? Where's your goodness, Lord? Because sometimes I fail to see the goodness of God because things are happening in our world and in our own personal lives that it just doesn't seem that God's goodness is there. But he had to remind me the goodness of God is still there. Amen? Amen. We don't know why, but I'm, God is still good. And we need to respond in the goodness of God and not respond to doubts or anything else. Respond in his goodness. And then we need to share the goodness of God. The testimony that gives God the glory has to be louder than what the world is saying. Your God is not able. Your God cannot heal. Your God cannot do this. Unbelief needs to be gone. Because if there's still unbelief, then a whole bunch of other un things come with it. Yeah. Unbelief, unfaithful, unforgiving. But when we say, Lord, I know who I am, yes. and I know that you love me. I've been tied to mom. Say amen. amen. That's the way it's got. That's the way it's got to be. We are blessed to be a blessing. We are saved to win a soul. We are blessed so others can be blessed. And I'm sure that some of you receive a blessing and another person got blessed. Say amen. Because in all how you see it, Lord, thank you for your blessing for my life. Thank you for your blessing for my family. Thank you for your blessing for our church. That's the word of God for us, that encouragement for others. Three purposes of why God is good is because he loves you. He loves you. It's because he wants you to share his goodness. And he wants us to show the world what a good God that he is. Yeah. Say amen. So this week as you go throughout your, your weekly routine, 
work or whatever, stay at home, whatever. Remember that my four Anna and the Neya in their two of them, not only their two of them, they're not only their two of them, and not only their two of them, they're 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 not only their two of them, he lowa inga, he lowa lama, he lowa kalesia, he mea umba tato te samlai, he mea asu le asu. Praise the Lord. I'm going to ask you to stand, those of you that are here. To ask the worship team to sing a song. Before they sing a song, have a prayer. If you're listening this morning and you're saying, uh, and it's been hard for you to see the goodness of God and what you're going through, could you just wave a hand or click, pray for me or give, you know, whatever on that internet or on that comment. If you're here this morning and Life has been a struggle lately, and you were trying to figure out if God is really good to you. Lord, His Word says that He does. He is. I just want you to give that to the Lord. Let's go right here. My unbelief, my doubts, and let God just come and just show you just how good He is. Let us sing a song.